Hello, boys and girls. How are you? Today, I got a story that has C's in it. It's Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcake. It's a counting story, too. There's some math in here. Look at all those cupcakes. Do you like cupcakes? I don't know if I ever told you. My daughter loves to make cupcakes. She makes them for her friends. All kinds of fancy cupcakes. They're so delicious. Look at all these cupcakes in this book. Mmm. -mm. Remember, cupcake starts with C and so does cat. There's Pete the cat and the missing cupcakes. I wonder what it means it's missing. Where could they possibly have gone? Hmm, let's find out. Pete and Gus were as busy as could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at three. <gasps> Guess what? I hear rhyming words. Party three. They have the same ending word, or some ending sounds. Pete's making up the cupcakes. He's got some milk and some flour and he's mixing it up. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. They had 10 when they were done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cupcakes. Oh no, hang on! Some of the cupcakes were gone. There were sure there had been ten. Pete said, maybe we need to count again. 10 again. There's lots of rhyming in here. Oh my goodness. Let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cupcakes. There's some missing. There used to be 10. They counted the cupcakes and lined them up straight. And now there were only eight. Straight eight. That rhymes. They have the same ending sound. It looked like someone had taken two. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found a clue. I'm going to switch sides, friends. Just then, they found a clue. Gus said, look what I have found. Sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was Squirrel. She loves sprinkles. Can I see good? Squirrel said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been at the spelling bee. Uh oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Ooh, B, C, that rhymes. Squirrel says it wasn't him. Who could be stealing the cupcakes? This was too weird. Two more cupcakes disappeared. Now there were only six. Someone must be playing tricks. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Let's count how many there are now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now there's only six cupcakes. Just then they found another clue. Ooh, footprints on the ground. Who do they belong to? Pete said, I bet it was Alligator. He loves to eat. Alligator said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Now there were only four. Someone had taken two more. But who? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. What? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then they found another clue. I bet it was Turtle, said Pete. I know Turtle loves sweets. Turtle said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been swimming in the sea. Uh-oh, more cups of cakes are missing. Come and see. Lots of rhyming. Me, B, C. The C is like the ocean sea. He's swimming in the ocean and see with our eyes. Lots of rhyming words on that page. What on earth was going on? All the cupcakes were now gone. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. They started looking for another clue. So there's footprints and sprinkles. What is going on? They found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. Pete and Gus have solved the case. I am so sorry. It was me. I could not stop with just one. I ate and ate until there were none. Everyone agreed. Grumpy Toad would have to miss the fun. He could not come after what he had done. Pete said, but wait, Grumpy 
Toad made a mistake. This is true. Let's give him a second chance. That's what friends do. So they're not going to stay mad at him. They're going to forgive him and let him do the right thing. Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. He was so excited, he did a happy dance. Chance dance. Did you hear those rhyming words? That was so nice that they forgave him and gave him another chance. The night of the party was so much fun. Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. It says Pete the Cat's Cupcake Party. Aw. Grumpy did the right thing. He replaced the cupcakes that he ate, and now everybody can enjoy the cupcakes. Let's see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen cupcakes. Oh, that was so nice of Grumpy Toad. He did the right thing. All right, friends. I hope you enjoyed the story of Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcake. I'll see you tomorrow with another story and some more sea practice. Bye, friends.